Today's movie is Brahms, The Boy 2 from 2020. Theme song! Kyle's Reviews! Kyle's Reviews! Alright, as always, if you want to watch the movie, you can check the links in the description below for where you can buy it or stream it online. All right, Brahms, The Boy 2 from 2020, a sequel to The Boy. I like the first The Boy movie. It was fun, had a, you know, kept you guessing what was going on. You know, this woman, uh, what's her name, Maggie Green character from The Walking Dead. She was hired to be a nanny but it seemed like she was being the nanny for a doll. But then weird things started happening. I like to keep you guessing what was going on. I like those kind of movies. I don't like the kind of movies that it's like, you know, from the start, it's supernatural or whatever. So when the commercials came out for Brahms, The Boy 2, uh, it made it seem like they were going straight up supernatural, which I did not like. So I didn't watch it. Well, I got a weakness. I kind of think Katie Holmes is cute. So I'm like, sure, I'll give it a shot. And you know what? I kind of like the first three quarters of the movie. So what's it about? Well, Katie Holmes, her character, uh, and her son are at home. Her husband's away at work. And suddenly there are burglars. And they kind of beat Katie Holmes up. And then we cut to a few months later, and she and her son are dealing with the trauma. Katie is kind of having some PTSD, and her son has sort of stopped talking out of sort of the, the trauma. Five months isn't an unusual time for this kind of selective mutism. I've seen children stop talking for much longer from much less severe trauma. I will say that I was kind of thinking maybe the identity, the reason why the burglars are there was going to come up. Just get that out of your head. It's not really brought up. It's sort of seen as just a random robbery. I was waiting for like, because they don't say a lot about what the husband does. I was waiting for there to be some more sinister stuff with the husband. I won't say whether there is or not, but I will say that the burglars, don't come up again. Now, I kind of like the setting here because the setup, because they take the PTSD, they take the trauma seriously. And in some ways, it reminded me of another movie that I have reviewed, Children of the Corn, Runaway, which I criticized for not really effectively dealing with trauma. They kind of did some interesting things, but then they kind of jettisoned it. This movie does some good things. And, and I liked how they took it seriously. Nobody ridicules Katie Holmes' character for having PTSD. Nobody really mocks the boy for being traumatized. I will say that one of the cousins does, but he's seen as a bully, right? So they move to this new house there in England. And the first time they go walking out in the woods, they find the boy, the doll, buried in the ground. And they dig it up. And the son, who has stopped talking, is really into it. Now, so I also like the fact that he's a boy, the son. Nobody trivialized, oh, you're a boy, you shouldn't be playing with dolls. Even the bully that made fun of, makes fun of him later for not talking and just being weird, doesn't really make fun of him because of the doll. Even So all the adults, the parents, none of them are judgmental. That's pretty cool. And, of course, being a horror movie, once they find the doll, scary stuff starts to happen. And it does do a good job of keeping you guessing. Is this stuff really happening? Is it Katie Holmes's trauma? Is it the son? kind of projecting onto the doll. The, there are times when all the, you know, because the son has stopped talking, they hear the kid behind closed doors talking and the parents are like, oh, he's starting to talk. 
but then, you know, bad things start to happen and the son blames it on the doll. And all that is kind of cool. It's kind of good. I liked it. It was entertaining. Then we get to the end, the maybe the last 20 minutes. Boo. I didn't like it. It just kind of what cliched. I hated it. I, I kind of wonder if this ending was sort of forced on the director and the writer because the director and the writer were the same from the first movie and they ended up pulling that ending off pretty well. So I wonder if they got pressure from the studio, but anyway, the ending's not great. The rest of it is, I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. So because of that, I'm giving it two thumbs up. I like the first one. So I'm probably biased. It ain't the worst film. It ain't the worst film. <laughs>